91 Bathroom TV. Ding, 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 ding. MWC is almost here, which means a lot of new devices are coming out. But that hasn't stopped us from predicting devices that will come out there and for the rest of 2014. Hi, my name is Kevin Jackson from Tech Now, and this is our 2014 Tech Predictions. Tech Now. expansion of power of technology has been seen since the beginning of 2014, such as CES. We've seen phones and tablets such as the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro and the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro. And the, the, the specs and the design software has been so much greater than the years before. And we've seen smartwatches such as the Pebble Steel, which is so much greater than the original Pebble. On the topic of smartwatches, let's talk about the, um, the iWatch. The iWatch, I predict, will be coming out in September or October as usual of our iPhone event. But the iPhone will be coming out at the same time as it, but the iPad will. And the iWatch is just going to have so many features as for medical. It's going to, I think it might, it might I think it ha might have a curved display. Um, and, um... The iPhone now, going on to the iPhone now, I think that will come out in June. And it will have two it will have two versions. It will have the big the big version which is like the note screen size and have a smaller version version which is like the Samsung Galaxy S5. Um and which screen is bigger than the current iPhone right now. Um um and the, talking about the Samsung Galaxy S5, I think it will come out in MWC and we'll see the specs that it has, which are greater, so much greater, than the S4, and which are comparable to the Note 3. Um, it will have a 2K display. Um, it's going to have an iris scanner, but on the screen. I don't know. I mean iris scanner. I mean a fingerprint scanner on the screen. And an iris scanner, I think that's highly unlikely, and that will come for the Note 4 when it comes out in September and October, as usual. And the Samsung Galaxy and Samsung Galaxy um, Gear 2 will come out at, at the same time as the 5, S5 at MWC. Um, for the HTC, the um, M8, um, it will come out at the same time as the M8 Mini, which will be a few months after MWC, not at MD, uh, MWC, which will happen in March or April. Um, somewhere around that time frame will come out. Um, I think that its specs are gonna have um, it's gonna have dual cameras, um, and it's going to have a better camera for sure since it's got two dual cameras. I think it's gonna come with an eight ultra pixel camera. Um, so going around, I think I covered most of the phone specs and things like that. Um, let's go on to the next now. So for the next line, I think that the next line is not ending until 15, as some guy on Twitter said. Um, I think, I think that the Nexus 6 is going to be here, but it's going to be developed by Motorola. I think it's going to be Motorola, um, Lenovo, something like that. Um, and it's going to be, um, Nexus 6. Next year, I don't think they're going to have an, an actual Nexus phone anymore since it conflicts with the Nexus 7 and stuff like that. They're going to probably put it under the new, um, Google Play Editions thing, but rename it as the post said. Um, something else, I think it's still going to continue with, just as a, as a different name along with the play devices. Um, talking about Lenovo and Motorola, the next Motorola phone will be released in September, October, because as the acquisition takes place, it's going to be paperwork filing, and as that happens, the Moto G and the Moto X will be better. Um, the, I mean, the next the next tier Moto X will come out in September, October. The next Moto G will come out around June, I think. Like the $50 one that they were talking about, which is so good. Oh my god, that's so good. Um, as, the, as the year goes on, the um, 805 Snapdragon will get replaced by other ones. But the 805 right now is my favorite processor. Oh my gosh. 55, it's capable of, 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 of 
running um, a 55 megapixel camera um, with 3D um, as I can support a 4K quality like that's amazing okay so coming back to the Samsung Galaxy S5 there's a few things I missed I guess um, with the camera it's gonna have a 16 megapixel camera 2K display all phones coming out this year for the big companies the Nexus Samsung HTC Sony they're gonna come out with a 2K display it's gonna be 2K that's what I bet nothing else an iPhone is still not gonna come out with a 2K display it's probably not going to the lower end might come out with a 1080p the top end might come out with something close to a 2K but not 2K not gonna have a 2K display I was not gonna deal with that that's gonna be safe for the iPad or for the Macs um, I'm talking about cell phone plans now. T-Mobile, AT&T, um, Verizon, Sprint, head-to-head. -head. The telcos are going to get head-to-head -head this year, as we've seen about T-Mobile. Um, with their plans and AT&T coming out with theirs. And, and Sprint going with Sprint. Um, with the next Sprint plan, I guess. That I guess you get faster Sprint um, LTE coverage um, when they roll it out, I guess. Um, and um, with um, Verizon with their more everything plan, oh my gosh, it's just gonna get competitive this year. I'm voting on T-Mobile, because that's what I'm getting getting in a few weeks. The thirty dollar plan, you know what I'm saying? Prepaid with my Nexus Four. I know I'm backwards, but that's all I could afford. So my Nexus Four on the thirty dollar T-Mobile plan. So get that right. You'll see that unboxing and that review in a short bit after I get the phone and put it on the plan. So. And for wearable technology, coming back to that, this is the last thing. I think nobody's going to buy wearables. It's going to be a big thing. All companies, Asus, Sony, everybody's going to gonna sell wearables, but it's not going to be big until Apple releases the iWatch. That's what I think.